Only two games remain for UTSA as they attempt to finish this season strong. They're now a bowl eligible team for the first time in team history after last week's victory against the Marshall Thundering Herd. And this week, they try to get some insurance and get their seventh win of the year against the Tulane Green Wave. Coming into this game with a 2-8 record, only 1-5 in, in conference. In what will be UTSA's final home game of the regular season, it's senior day. And it's the last home game for all the original Roadrunners. First quarter action underway. UTSA on offense. It's second down and seven. Evan Newton lines up under center out of the twin tight end set. He'll drop back to throw and fire over the middle. It's complete to Jason Todd. He's got a first down across the 25-yard line. And it's now second down and ten. Anthony Banks to the left of Evan Newton out of the shotgun. He'll hand off to Banks and run off tackle to the right side. He's met by a defender and wrestled to the ground by the second defender that meets him. It's a gain of seven. They'll force a third down and three. Newton wants the pass, standing in the pocket, fires over the middle, it's complete to Kenny Harris, he's got a first down just shy of the 45-yard line. A new set of downs for UTSA, second and 10, Richie Battle and David Glasgow in the backfield, and Newton fires over the middle, he's got David Morgan on top of the UTSA midfield marker, it's a gain of 7 and now 3rd and 3. They have to get to about the two-lane 45-yard line for a first down as Newton lets a play develop and launches it towards the sideline. It's overthrown and out of bounds, and UTSA will be forced to punt. Tulane's offense takes the field for the first time in today's action. Quarterback Devin Powell out of the shotgun, throws on the empty backfield shotgun. Over the middle, he's got his man. That's complete to Brandon LeBeau for a first down. Second down and 10 now. Two backs next to Powell out of the shotgun. He'll go right side option. Pitches it back to Bro, the running back, and he's going to lose a few. That'll force a third down and 12 now. They have to get to the 44-yard line for a first down conversion. Powell's going to throw. Lobs it left side. And it's caught by Brandon LeBeau across the 40-yard line. And he's in UTSA territory. They're on the edge of field goal range. Second and eight. Quick pass to Rush, and it's dropped on the slant. Maybe a little bit of alligator arms on that one as he was trying to avoid being hit. Third down and eight now. Powell to throw. UTSA sends a four-man rush and Powell lets it fly. He's got it to Brandon LeBeau. Inside the 15. First down and 10 for Tulane. Third and three now. Inside the five-yard line. Powell's got to throw it here. He's going to look to run. He's met. The ball's on the ground and UTSA has got it. Dom Carter comes up with a fumble recovery after it's Richard Burge forcing the fumble and Powell got a little bit greedy there and UTSA gets a big red zone turnover here in the first quarter. Now UTSA is backed up towards zone end zone and Evan Newton running read option. He's going to get a first down on this run. Good job following his blocks but uh, I think we would all rather see him slide. First and ten, I formation, handoff to David Glasgow, leading the way is Richie Battle and David Morgan, and Glasgow's got a first down, a nice solid running gain on the power run to the right side, and now an I formation, handoff to Glasgow again, this time going up the middle, he's got six yards, and it'll be second down and four. Third down and four, Evan Newton out of the shotgun. Three receivers right, including David Morgan, the tight end. A quick pass to the outside. It's caught by Kenny Harris on the sideline, and it's good enough for a first down. Second and four now as we enter the second quarter of play, and handoff goes to Glasgow. Up the middle he goes. He gets a first down for UTSA. They're in two-lane territory now, looking to start driving down the field. Now Newton goes play action, evades a sack, and then the second rusher gets to him, and he's taken down for a loss of eight. It'll be second down and 18 coming up. Up as Newton takes a shotgun snap. Looks downfield, doesn't like what he sees, but will roll out to his right. Open green, and he's got the first down and more. And he takes a hit again, and luckily he's going to get up. But once again, he wanted the juke away from the defender, and it did not work. Third down and 11 now. Newton's got a throw. Hit on the play and fires to the sideline. It's incomplete, intended for Tim Whitaker. That'll bring on the field goal unit, Sean Ayano. It's a long field goal attempt from this range. Ayano's kick is up, and it's no good. It kept right. It may not have been long enough, but still, it was no good. Tulane ball now with great field position as Bro takes up the right side. He's got nine yards. We'll go to third down and one. Single back set, tight end in motion. Powell fakes the handoff to Bro. Over the middle, he's got Brandon LeBeau, and he's got a first down across the 30-yard line. Good play on the play action. Now UTSA creeps up a safety, and here comes the blitz, and it was telegraphed the whole way. Tristan Wade, he came through. An excellent design blitz by the defensive coordinator. It will push Tulane back to third down and 16 from the UTSA 35-yard line. Powell's got a throw. Over the middle, it's caught by Xavier Rush. He beat Kyle Nichols, and it's good enough for a first down. 
Tulane in the UTSA red zone for the second time today, trying to get some points for the first time in a scoreless game. Over the middle, it's caught by Wilson. He's got close to a first down. They'll give it to him. Dom Carter on coverage. They're back inside the five-yard line. They'll bring in the fullback in the third tight end and hand the ball off the middle. Bro, and he's got it. It's Devon Bro for the touchdown run. And Tulane has the game's first points at 7-0. 2.04 to go in the first half as Tulane will have the ball again, trying to get some more points before halftime. And this run goes for about four yards as we're now at the two-minute mark and a timeout is called. Second down and six. Powell over the middle. Open is Xavier Rush. Had two steps on Kyle Nichols, and it's good for a first down as they're back in UTSA territory for the third time in today's game. First and ten. Powell slant again. It's Justin Shackleford in his first catch of the ball game. He beat Darian Starling, and now they're in field goal range. UTSA's defense trying to clamp down. Powell's going to throw. No, he's going to run up the middle. He takes off and he gets the first down just across the first down marker, a gain of 10 yards. And now they're in more of a chip shot field goal range. Second and nine coming up for Powell out of the gun. Looking to the end zone. He's going to run and he's sacked by Jason Neal. The senior takes him down for a loss. It's third down and 14. Powell drops back to throw. His pass to the outside is batted away by Dom Carter. And what a pleasant surprise he has been this year in pass coverage. Tulane now attempting the field goal to make it a 10-point game before halftime. The kick is up and it is good. 10-0. UTSA unable to find the scoreboard here in the first half. And the 40-yard field goal will put Tulane up by two scores. Well, we've reached the halfway point, and UTSA still has not found the scoreboard. So far, a disappointment in today's contest, but it's far from over. We'll see if the Roadrunners can regroup in the locker room and come back out in the second half ready to play some football. Defense has been good so far, but hopefully the offense can find their groove. Second half action coming your way shortly. The second half is now underway as Tulane begins this drive from their own 25-yard line. First and 10 for Devin Powell out of the shotgun. No pressure, lobs downfield. It's caught by Brandon LeBeau. A great touch pass from Powell, and he's got it already in UTSA territory. Not the way our runners wanted to start the second half. Second and nine now, a dump to Rush, but once again, he heard footsteps and couldn't make the catch. Cody Rogers was lurking behind him. It's third down and nine. UTSA trying to get their defense off the field. The quick pass over the middle is knocked away by Kyle Nichols and the runners get their defense off the field in this first possession of the third quarter. Now we'll see Evan Newton. Can he get this established now? First and ten. Fakes the handoff. He'll keep it himself. Up the middle. Evan Newton. A first down and more. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. A first down for the Roadrunners. First and ten. Handoff. Anthony Banks following his blockers. Gets about six. Solid gain out of the shotgun. And now UTSA comes out with a twin tight end set under center. Evan Newton. Handoff. Glasgow following the block of David Morgan. Good job as he gets the first down and approaches midfield. 5.16 to go in the third quarter. Newton play action to Glasgow. Here comes the pressure. It's a screen set up. And Glasgow has it. Has a couple of blocks. Breaks a tackle. And, well, that was a hard-fought seven-yard gain for David Glasgow. We'll go ahead to third down and two now as Glasgow is the lone man in the backfield. And one tight end to the right is David Morgan. Randy Jones slot right. Hand off Glasgow up the middle. And he'll get a yard over the first down marker. And UTSA moves the chains. It's a three wide receiver set for Newton out of the shotgun on first and 10. He'll go to his tight end. David Morgan, the senior, is across the 35 yard line. It'll set up a second down and four. Evan Newton out of the shotgun takes the snap and looks downfield. Good coverage. He breaks a sack in the backfield. Scrambles to his left. No, he's going to throw. And touchdown! Tim Whitaker broke free at the last second. And Evan Newton just made one of the best plays in his young college career. He broke his sack and had plenty of room to run for the first down. But instead, he set his feet and uncorked a bomb to Tim Whitaker. And it results in a 34-yard touchdown pass. And you can feel the Alamo Dome energy. Energizing now as UTSA is in this game down by three. Devin Powell out to Marfisi, the fullback, and he'll break one tackle, but not two as Sterling knocks him out of bounds after a gain of five. Second down now is the handoff goes to Bro out of the shotgun. He has a first down, a nice piece of running to the midfield marker, and it's now first and ten. Powell handoff to Bro again. Nice little smirtle there. He goes up the middle and he gets another five-yard carry. Very solid, very consistent. But now it's third down and five. UTSA shows blitz, but it's picked up. Fires to the outside, and Xavier Rush! He left his hands at home. That's his third drop of the afternoon. 
Either way, the Alamo Dome crowd loves it, and UTSA's offense is back on the field. In motion, right to left is David Morgan, and Evan Newton will hand the ball off to Anthony Banks. Up the middle, great blocking up the middle, and he's got a first down across the 30-yard line. Good job in the second level for the lineman to get there and make the blocks. First and 10 now as Newton fakes the handoff and rolls to his right. He'll dump it off short to David Morgan, looking for some yards after the catch, and it'll result in a five-yard gain. Nothing special, but it is a positive gain on first down. Second and five, and Newton hands the ball off to Anthony Banks. Off tackle right side, looking for a block in the second level, and he gets a first down to the 49-yard line. Good job by Cam Jones working on the cornerback. We'll go to third down and four. Newton's going to throw, dumps it off. David Glasgow, first down and more. He's out of bounds at the two-lane 35-yard line, and we'll enter the fourth quarter. Only 10-7, to seven, low scoring, but UTSA has the chance to take the lead soon, and Newton's going to scramble, and he's got seven on this carry. May have had Cam Jones getting open. But let's go ahead to third down and inches. Weak guy set with Richie Battle offset. And the handoff goes to Richie Battle. Up the middle. Nobody expected that. And he's up to the five-yard line. Great run by Battle. One of the first runs in his young career. The freshman fullbacks had a great season. First and ten now. Newton off the play action. Looks to the end zone. Scrambling. Off balance. Throw incomplete. It was a little bit of an overthrow by Newton, but the receiver also stopped his route short, so it's third down and goal. UTSA needs eight yards. Banks to the left of Evan Newton, takes a shotgun snap. Here comes the pressure, and he'll be drilled as he throws the ball. It floats incomplete, and UTSA will cap off the 12th play drive with a 25-yard Sean Liano field goal that ties the game at 10. 4.44 to go, and Tulane trying to get their lead back as the handoff goes to Brown. He gets one yard, and it'll be third down and nine. Very pivotal play for Tulane's offense as Devin Powell drops back from under center. Fires to the sideline. It's knocked away by Dominic Carter again. You would not think a linebacker this big would be so strong in pass coverage, but Dominic Carter has really surprised a lot of people this year, and I'm really impressed by this redshirt freshman middle linebacker. Just over four minutes to go in the game, and UTSA has the ball at their own 47-yard line. Newton's going to throw. Here comes the blitz. He'll get it off anyway, and Banks can't handle this one. He'll drop it. It'll be second down coming up. They'll bring the big boy back out to the field. Richie Battle leading the way for David Glasgow, trying to run off tackle, and oh, the ball's out. Glasgow fumbled, and Tulane has it. Storming down the field. It's a scoop, and down at the 10. Richie Battle takes him down, but David Glasgow just had his world rocked. And now Tulane has the football inside UTSA's 10-yard line. They set up, handoff to Bro again, and Devon Bro is in the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the day. This one is from 10 yards out, and Tulane increases their lead, and they have it back. 17 to 10 now. UTSA playing from behind. Can Evan Newton get a fourth quarter comeback? Third down and one, the handoff is to Anthony Banks. Room to run, good play call, and he's up to the UTSA 48-yard line inside of three minutes to go in the ball game. Newton has two receivers left and two right out of the shotgun as he takes a snap. Fires downfield, it's caught by Randy Jones, and he's free in the open field, and he will score. UTSA answers back very quickly. Only a couple plays as Evan Newton fires downfield. He had Randy Jones, the fellow freshman, one-on-one, -on -one, and the safety was all confused there. And Jones will sprint to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. UTSA ties the game at 17 apiece. 2.43 to go, handoff to Bro. Running off tackle when he's taken down by Johnston. It's a gain of one. Now second and nine. Safety comes down to the box. Here comes the blitz. Tulane does a great job of picking it up, and the pass to the outside is incomplete and knocked away. It'll be third down and nine now. Tulane has to get to the 35-yard line for a first down. Devin Powell's quick pass is knocked away. A poor throw over the middle, and UTSA takes over. All they need is a field goal, and Newton stands out of the shotgun and fires to his tight end, Jason Todd. He's got about eight yards on this catch as he's close to the UTSA 40-yard line on second and two. Newton's going to throw again. The short pass is caught by Banks. A first down, a nifty juke move, and maybe a no call on a face mask, and it's a first down anyway. Just across midfield, Newton to throw. He'll dump it off again to Anthony Banks as he trips his way ahead for an eight-yard gain. Very solid, and now UTSA is almost in field. 
field goal range. They can smell it from here. Newton fires to the sideline. What a catch by Tim Whitaker. He was in bounds. And UTSA is going to have the ball at the two-lane 30-yard line. They're in field goal range. Now look at this strike to the outside. A perfect pass. And Whitaker had the awareness to stay in bounds. And now UTSA is going to run the ball. They'll center it in between the hash marks as Glasgow takes the handoff and is upended. And they're just going to run the clock out now and give Shanayano a chance to win this game. Here it is, folks. Five seconds to go. A 37-yard field goal attempt. The snap is down. The kick is up. It's sailing. And it's good! Just inside the right upright, UTSA takes the lead with just a mere two seconds remaining. Tulane needs a miracle. They'll go trips right, and Powell's going to throw it as far as he can. He heaves it downfield, and it appears, yes, UTSA has intercepted the football, and Hall goes down, and that's all she wrote, folks. Seven wins for our UTSA Roadrunners. They've done it. They come back and beat Tulane in the fourth quarter, 20-17. to Not exactly in the fashion we all had hoped, but a win is a win, and seven wins pretty much guarantees UTSA will be playing past Christmas. Great job by Evan Newton to energize this team in the second half. If you remember his 34-yard touchdown pass, that was one of the nicest plays I've seen the freshman make in his young career. UTSA is 7-5, one game left in the season. We'll wrap things up next week against Texas State. Into the studio we go, and we have some good news out of San Antonio. UTSA has scored a few more recruits in the form of James Benson, a kicker, along with three-star cornerback A.J. Brown and fullback Brandon Reese. So that makes it so UTSA has four recruits so far committed, and uh, actually we're just getting word now, they have also gotten a defensive tackle now, Terrell Lee, a nose tackle out of Denison, Texas, a 6'5", 315-pound man beast, hopefully clogging holes for UTSA in the future. And oh boy, the news just keeps rolling in. Oh my goodness. UTSA has just gotten Kyle Jones, the number two middle linebacker from Shiloh, Ohio, a four-star caliber prospect. He is signing on for the UTSA Roadrunners. We have so much good news for this episode. And next week, we hope to play spoiler against Texas State. They're trying to become bowl eligible, and we're not going to help them get that job done. Operation Revenge begins next week. They gave us a beatdown at the Alamo Dome last year, and it's time for us to return the favor. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the season finale next week.